All right, our second opportunity for double points with Toronto on top with 139 and a half points. Current second, 138 points. London with 132 and a half points. It doesn't get any better than that as David Marsh on the left side of the screen looks on and he's hopeful that he's put together the right combination of the relay here. Break this one down for us. Double points on the line and of course, big jackpot opportunity as well. Yeah, when you think it, London definitely has the best time in the season coming into this race and should be the favorites, obviously, when you have the world record holder leading things off for you. That's going to be great. Aqua comes in second, though. Really, LA is going to be on the outside here because I think it will come down between Aqua and London. Chalmers will lead it off. Nakamura is on there. And Surti, and we just saw Dylan Carter having that great 53 earlier. He'll anchor the relay for London's best A team. And you've got Moresi, Greenef, Chikan, and Chiampi for Aqua. And they're missing Chirgini. Marcello Chirgini is not here for Aqua. And again, you get three playoff matches to try to qualify for the ISO Grand Final. So at the end of the day, you see three teams at this moment. More than halfway through day one, a fourth of the way through their first playoff match with a chance to get the win and get four points. And so probably makes every one of these races even more important at this moment. Obviously, you want to win this playoff match. You want to get the four points. It's going to really help your cause to make sure that you're a part of the grand final. All right, and London's best team is taking out Mildred, who was on their 305 flat leading time of the season this year and putting Inserti in there. Otherwise, Chalmers, Nakamura, and Carter will remain the same. Chalmers leads off. Remember, he's the world record holder, the new world record holder. Let's go, boys. Chalmers will lead off in lane number four. Good start by Chalmers. He's always quick off the blocks. Good reaction time, 0.69. Zazari for Toronto, who also had that great 50 freestyle, was 0.63. He leads it off for Toronto. And how big was Zazari in that 50 freestyle? Just again, we talk about the basis of the skins at the end. You want to have some athletes that can cover the bases, and obviously sprint freestyle, that's a huge upgrade, as good as Zazari was there. But right now, it's all about Chalmers, who's built a pretty good lead here the first 75 meters. Rooney over there on the left for LA, doing a good job. <laughs> getting off to a quick start. Rooney probably is their best sprinter, and they're going to lead him off of the 46-9. 46 flat for Chalmers. Not quite the 44-8 <laughs> world record that a we saw, off but obviously London will take it early on. Yeah, they've got the lead. That's the big thing. And, and about a second. He was about a second faster than Rooney's 46-9. So that's the most important thing is that huge lead that they've built. London got the relay win in the 400 freestyle relay on the women's side, already jumping out to the lead in the men's 400 freestyle relay. Nakamura has been so solid for them. He's been 46 low on the relays consistently for London during the regular season. Boy, right, the red only halfway through, remember the Jackpot time is five seconds, Bernie, and these B teams are not very good for any one of these four teams. So it's all up to the A teams here to see which one will get the jackpot. And right now, London looking pretty good. Aqua trying to get back into it, though. Man, London trying to jackpot the entire field. Golomayev up there on the left side of the screen in lane number two. He's a big pickup for LA. The fact that he, just like Ryan Murphy, has joined the team. He's expected to be a difference maker. Chacon swimming at the bottom in lane number seven for Aqua, who have 
Champy in the anchor. And here comes Tom Shields up at the top. He won the Hunter Fly earlier. And he's gonna go against Mildred from London. No, excuse me, Dylan Carter. Dylan Carter right there anchoring. We saw him having that great 50 freestyle. He's got a nice advantage being in the middle of the pool. He can see on either side of him. And look at the red. London did this in the women's 400 free relay. Can they do it in the men? London trying to get their second relay win. Relays are oh. so important. Double points double the jackpot and double the fun for London who gets their second relay win. Wow. When they add this up, London is going to go flying by everybody in a big way. They pick up those jackpot double points, remember. And this is going to be devastating for the other three teams. We still have a long way to go, but when it's added up, you see Kyle Chalmers getting them off to a great start. 38 points for wow. London. That's 24 more points scored than LA. And it puts the roar back into the lead with 168 and a half points. And a great anchor for Dylan Carter, the only swimmer to break 46 seconds. He almost chased down and lapped the eighth place finisher of Aqua, 45-8. 36 points for the Roar, 12 points for the Current in Aqua. And the Toronto Titans left with less than 10 points on the relay, and it puts London back on top with 168 and a half points. 50 backstroke, 400 free, and more relays to close out day one of our second playoff match for ISL 2020.